back to Spaced Out Radio's Cryptid Tales. My name is Amber Beckard, and today's episode, we are going way back in time to talk about a UFO experience or celestial phenomenon that happened in Switzerland. Well, this one's a little bit close to home for me because my grandpa is actually from the area that this happened. Um, so I can't help but wonder if any of my ancestors had seen it happen. So this celestial phenomenon happened all the way back in 1566. Yes, we are going back that far. Um, and it happened over a period of time where, well, it was important enough to write about it in a pamphlet. Now I will write about or I will read out to you what the pamphlet actually said as somebody has thankfully translated it. Um, and then we'll discuss this a little bit further. So according to the pamphlet, it was translated to say, it happened in 1566, three times on the 27th and 28th of July, and again on August 7th. Against the sunrise and sunset, we saw strange shapes in the sky above Basel. During the year 1566 on the 27th of July, after the sun had shone warm on the clear bright skies, and then around 9 p.m., it suddenly took a different shade, shape and color. First, the sun lost all the radiance and luster, and it was no bigger than the full moon. And finally, it seemed to weep tears of blood and the air behind him went dark. And he was seen by all of the people of the city and countryside. In much the same way, also, the moon, which had already been almost full and has shone through the night, assuming an almost blood red color in the sky. The next day, Sunday, the sun rose at about six o'clock and, si and slept with the same appearance it had when it was lying before. He lit the houses, streets, and around as if everything was blood red and fiery. At the dawn of August 7th, we saw large black spheres coming and going with the great speed and precipitation before the sun and chattered as if they were led in a fight. Many of them were fiery red and soon crumbled and then extinguished. So that's what the pamphlet said. Now, basically what that summarizes down to is that it was discussed as an unusual sunrise, a full eclipse of the moon with a red sun rising, and the third was like a cloud of black spheres in front of the sun, almost having a firefight. Many speculations have been that aliens were having a battle in the skies over Switzerland, but I mean, I can't help but wonder if maybe it was just a meteor shower of some form. Of course, UFOs are more fun and a lot more exciting, I think, to think about back then. Now, for my ancestors, my great, 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 I don't even know how many great grandfathers would have been about four or five years old. So I don't know if he would have remembered it, but I'm sure his parents definitely did. Now, of course, this has been discussed between historians and meteorologists for years, and still nobody really has an answer for what happened back in 1566, but I can assure you it was uh, definitely something else. I will pop up a picture of the pamphlet on the screen so that you guys can actually see what it looked like. Of course, it is all in Swiss, so it'll be a little bit harder to read. Um, other than that, what do you guys think was happening? Of course, everybody talks about it being a firefight in the sky between unidentified people, things, objects, who knows, really. But I can tell you one thing is for certain. It hasn't happened since. So what happened on those fateful days in 1566 over Basel, Switzerland? Of course, this will be something to discuss and maybe bringing it up now will bring back some more interpretations of the story and what might have happened. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. Was it actually a firefight? Was it just a meteor shower that they couldn't quite explain coming into the sky? Did a volcano erupt somewhere that would have clouded all around Switzerland? The possibilities are absolutely endless, but nobody has really dug deep into what it could have been. So this is where you guys come in and I put it to you. 
what happened in Switzerland all those years ago? Let me know down below in the comments. And of course, I would like to give a huge shout out to Ron Bumblefoot Thal for all of our music here on Spaced Out Radio. And don't forget to check out our Space Travelers Club merch store and all of our social media accounts where you can follow me and Spaced Out Radio to stay up to date on all of the latest fun things that we are all up to. And that is it for me, guys, and I will see you again in the next episode.